my name is Titan Laurent. I'm just a, I'm an artist, of course. I'm born in Morocco, grew up in Belgium. And then when I was 31, I kind of blew a fuse. I was working um, in a marketing company. And then I decided I wanted to follow my dream. So I just went to New Zealand. So um, no, I'm a New Zealander and I live in Melbourne. I always paint. I come from a seven generation family of painter. I think I allow myself to be full-time artist when I was 31. And then um, I really, I start expressionist, realistic expressionist until I left America and I think I really got influenced with um, modern art, abstract, like Motherwell, Franz Klein and that really changed my life. So when I came in Melbourne, that really um, gave me a chance to reinvent myself and go completely abstract in black and white. So I'm more like from coming from a blue-green color towards a completely black and white and there is no coming back. With color, there's millions of possibilities. And as soon as you mix two color, it's just more possibilities. And actually that reflect my life before, more shows, more style, more people, more everything. And then I don't know if it's age, but I'm growing towards minimalistic and more like Zen. My teacher was a conceptual artist, so it, it was more working with energy and fine, the substance inside us instead of outside or in the brain. So just to go towards something more zen. But also black is the addition of all the colors. That makes sense that finally black and white are the ultimate color for my painting. So it makes sense. And I like to play with the minimum information I can have from black and white, even if black and white is still really rich. So in the black there's the matte, the shiny, the medium, but also there's all the layers under that sometimes have colors. So it's just like leaving a glimpse of this multitude of energy under and then calming down everything with just a minimalist approach. But it's layers and layers and layers of different colors actually under. And then yes, the black as uh, matte and shiny, but also has traces and like a scratch. So if there's other color under that needs to be revealed, but in a really minimalist way, then yes, then I would just kind of remove some area like that. And sometimes I peel what is under, I don't know. It's like a paint, like I'm cooking. I've got pencil, I've got oil pastel, I've got, um, I've got everything actually around me and um, I've got charcoal, I've got some varnish, all varnish for the end. But actually because I work following the instruction of the painting and not the painting following my instruction, it's just like, okay, when I feel it needs some charcoal, I will use that. And then if I use red, mostly it will, it will be with red pastel so I can cover and then remove the painting just to allow the red color to go through. It took me a long time to realize that if I look or if I speak to too many people or if I work too much on marketing, actually I lose myself. So um, I really try to, to find this inner peace, inner connection with something bigger than me. And then, so yes, my painting requires a lot of silence and solitude. And I love that, it nourishes me. So it's important. If I want to create something different, I have to go out of my comfort zone. I want to be completely free and not care what people think. Composition, all of that is important, but at the end, if it doesn't come from here, I'm not interested.